is what they did when they couldn't get uh, any other form of sustain as well. They picked the Necrophos, so mm -hmm. they actually had some pushing potential. And like Liquid originally, and Puppy's rotations are going to determine quite a lot for them as that top. Mind control gets gone on, but immediately going to time walk himself away. As the levels progress, he's really going to have to be careful. But at bottom lane, we do have Kuro, who's going to be body blocked up oh, by Mizrat. Puppy's going to join him. They still have the net ready to go. He's holding off on it. Now controls Kuro. And this could very well be our first blood as Misery stayed in the head and snagged that last hit for a first blood. Kuro's got to be careful. Walking up that hill, the Enchantress looking powerhouse. They're actually going to go up to the top lane, it seems, and try and get a gank on Mind Control. They're going to force out the time walk. Eternal Epi is setting up this gank. Now Mind Control comes forward. He won't have that time walk up. And sure enough, Highlight Die leads with a Hex. He's going to be able to jump onto him and control Mind Control long enough for the kill to go to Eternal Epi. Really well set up by Team Secret. I thought for a second that Eternal Envy had jumped the gun, but leading with the pouch makes it so that Mind Control thinks, oh, there's nobody else here, he's just doing this. Oh, man, Misery just runs down that Phoenix. How did he Level do that three. by himself? He's got the upgraded boot, but uh, Team Secret, I mean, it seems pretty obvious by now. Yeah, they, they think it's actually going to be rotation. bottom, but this mid-rotation... That's going to kind of catch Liquid by surprise. Kuro's definitely going to be going down here. The TP is not going to be complete by Matumba Man. It's a bit isolated, but uh, he's going to join the rest of his team now. Eternal Envy is just Lemmy. cutting off the spot. Yeah, he's going to make sure. Now he sees Matumba Man cutting over. He knows this is not a fight that Team Secret necessarily want to be able to take. The heals go down. Misery is here. They can actually fight this one for the Chronos. Here comes in first. They need to be able to pop. The oh, he's got the Ravage. There goes the Egg. They're going to try and pop this one. Team Secret can't fight around that Ravage. As the Egg was the securing fight. Oh, are they not going to get anything? They're really not, and let's, oh, Jerry just gets a bit too close, and Tyler I die pounces on that opening. There's almost no chance that you're going to be able to defend it out. The Centaur's even going to scout in. Yeah, he's going to spot out Kuro soon. Oh, they're they've already banged him, they know, they've got the stun. Kuro has no hope to be able to get out of this one. They're going to trade for this tier 1 tower immediately. Call's been made. Uh, they can't even do any sort of counter pushing on the side of Team Liquid. That mid tower was the target of Team Liquid, but looks like they're going to try for it here. That might be four man smoke. Witch Doctor's making his way up. Mind Control is actually in a perfect position to be able to get a Chrono Sphere. He's going to lock it down, but it only catches Misery. The egg goes down on top of They're going to try and blow Misery before he gets off the Ravage. But he pops the mech, turns around with the Ravage, and now here comes the full artillery from Team Secret. The Arms blown up too. Take out the Tidehunter, but that means nothing. And Team Secret will sacrifice Misery as long as they can win this fight. A Tunnel Heavy moves forward, pops the open, starts going from a top of it. Barely lives through all this, but he should be able to get the kill in the end. Dominating oh, three and Mind Control. Out of mana. He's almost out of mana. Time walks his side. Puppy's still going to be able to get that vision, though. And Mind Control has little hope to be able to get out of this one. Is they're going to hold on to the pounce until Mind Control uses oh, his time walk. Lock him down. That's a why Team Secret win the Roshan fight. Absolutely dominant. If he's not the target of this Chronosphere, he is able to do so much damage with this hand of Midas, Yasha. They are going to be able to catch him here, but he pops the ultimate just in time. They're going to have to wait this one out. They will just barely be able to land the Sun Strike. Ball is up now with the Necrophos ultimate for the save! Comes up from Weeha! Now they turn around and Team Liquid try and retreat. Mind Control's almost out of mana. Does he able to get a little bit of magic one charge to time lock himself away? Kuro runs himself into the trees. Is hoping to be able to get a TP out at this point. And he will be, be able to do so. Oh no, the heck! Twilight die on point at the last half second. Nothing is going right for Team Liquid at this point. My control can't even farm. Even with three heroes there, oh, he's going to run into misery. The time walks up in one more second. He's going to jump over to the left-hand side, but then Pettis shot follows him. They're going to be able to get enough vision for Puppy to get one more shot, and that's going to be a killing spree already on Puppy. 18 minutes in. A gigantic stack. They're being so efficient on the map. I know uh, the panel mentioned it yesterday, but... Oh, is it going to be enough? The Reaper Sight! It doesn't actually hit Pylai Die and deal enough damage to finish him off. Follow up as well. He has a blink dagger of his own. Puppy's going to be leading the charge here. Seeing if Liquid will take the bait and fight him at all. This is how unkillable Puppy is. He's just running forward, ice armored. He knows he's dead. He's caught inside the trees, throws out the paralyzing cast towards the tail end, but that is the end. Team Secret can now actually maybe go for a five man push at top lane. Matuba Man shows himself in the mid lane and immediately starts backing up. 
And he should too. Eternal Envy's gonna cut in from the Highlight side. The They're stun. gonna be able to get the stun, but Tumba Man needs some help from the Sun Ray. They will be able to put this one around a little bit. Misery pops the Ravage now. Seeing how oh, low the Tumba Man is. They definitely want this kill, and they'll get it too. The Supernova with the Chronosphere over the top. Maybe this is finally Team Liquid's time to be able to get some kills, but they just can't seem to do enough damage. Once again, Weehaw provides the save with the OT. Ultimate being dropped onto Liquid. They're completely out of mana now. They're still gonna try and turn and fight. Weehaw with Reaper's Knight being dropped. Weehaw saves Misery life. But he ends up committing his own. The Slark scaling up, up, up. Witch Doctor can absolutely do nothing against him with a thousand gold. As Pearl's just gonna get gone on, look how quickly he pops him. Nobody from Liquid can do anything to help out. As Drum's gonna start building into the Ags now. Team Secret though. I really like this. They showed Pi at bottom, so at top. Liquid, they're not 100% sure where everybody is, and they're being hemmed into their base. They don't have the tier 2 atop, the ward sees them. They're actually going to try and fight this one, but OD, he's already managed to get off the imprisonment onto himself. Team Liquid managed to fight it out, but coming in from behind, they've already taken out the Invoker. They're going to pop the Supernova, as well as the Chronosphere, but they just simply have no damage. Now, here comes the Death Ward, and they'll finally be able to kill Weehaw, but Team Liquid need to be able to get out. His Secret are coming in from behind. They've already taken out two. They're going to try and chase down Mind Control as well while Jarek's quick to get out of the trees he's sitting in. Yeah, Misery didn't have the Ravage available, but he does have the Blink, and Jarek's doesn't have the Dive. Puppy's gonna chase this one down as... 15 seconds, trying to slow down the attack speed of Puppy. He needs 12 more seconds. They don't actually care about the Phoenix, it seems. They wanted to be able to chase down Matumba Ben, but he's already TP'd out. You saw Misery thinking about it, too. Maybe they can get a pick off on Pile I Die though. Mind Control has picked up the Invis rune and is trying to scout some things out. He is going to be Radiant's scouted though, as this kind of work work combination. Radiant's Should be able to see his rotation across. You can see Team Secret are already splitting themselves up, making sure there's not going to be a three man Chronosphere if possible. Yeah, Liquid want to get something out of this. Ooh, Puppy's going to be the control. target. He just goes for the solo Chronosphere. This is so dangerous. They have a Sunray. They're going to follow up with the cap. Maybe even drop the Death Ward for this one. Puppy is going to be saved by Weehaw. But he's going to be running back in. Oh, there goes the combination for Misery and Weehaw. They're blowing up Liquid left and right. Three down and Kuro. He realizes there's no escape here. Mind Control also trying to time walk himself. Hiding in the trees. Ooh, two more seconds. He's going to be saved by the Imprisonment for now. But they should be able to run him down no matter what. The Pounce is going to miss. But still, they've got him with the Blink Dagger on Weehaw. Kuro's not going to stay ahead of Misery either. This is eventually going to be a wipe as Team Secret is now well positioned to push out that bottom lane and think about pressuring high ground. Secret have absolute control of this game right now. This four position Puppy Enchantress. Oh. Liquid don't have the Chronosphere available and I don't really even know how they set up a fight right now. With the Aegis still on Envy for another two minutes, they've got to be careful. This guy hits hard. And he's got 3200 gold to back him up. Paralyzing cast, they're actually gonna try and go for Puppy here. Sunstrike is gonna land! Nice setup there from Vada. And Team Secret will actually back themselves up. They don't have the Ravage, they still have that Aegis. If they wanted to be able to fight, they could do it. Yeah, Eternal Envy's not gonna show too much fear. He turns around, dares Mind Control to fight him. Hey, Kroki's gotta be careful. It's by far the easiest hero to kill for Eternal Envy. He's gonna get stunned up by the cast, but he sees Kuro. Maybe he wants to make himself a target since he already blew that death ward. Eternal Envy is going to oblige. They're gonna be able to double team Kuro as fast as possible. The Malik Dick goes down his last dying ward meet on the right hand side. They're gonna try and fall We have they're successful too. They've got the Reaper side. Oh, the Phoenix the Egg is gonna be able to explode as well. Team Secret are gonna be caught here. They thought they could turn, they thought that they could fight, but they're gonna lose some major heroes here. As Misery's just eventually gonna be chased down. He's a tanky beast, but there's just no escape for him. Oh, with the Sunway drop too. Four heroes down and Team Liquid, that is the first glimmer of light that we've seen all game for them. They've already drawn the map, they want to fight this one. They're going to head up to the top lane. Team Liquid want to fight, they'll have it. So they're trying to chip down this tier 2 tower, Misery's ready to go. He's going to wait. Waiting on the Ravage, he's gonna throw it out now, will be able to catch up more! That's gonna be a beautiful figure as that, that pops with Tumble Man as well. Now they've got the, uh, oh no, that's gonna be an A combination with the Chronosphere that only really catches two. Kurt's gonna let out the Death Warp, there's just not enough damage here. OD drops the ultimate, Jarrus comes back to the egg, but his teammates are all gone. Mind Control's gonna try and get himself out with the Time Walk TP away. Should be successful there as, oh, Pilot Eye! Oh, so close. Puppy absolutely obliterated that BKB invoker. He just came from behind, prances and says, one hit, two hit, three hit, you're dead. 
but even then, Pi will be able to get some uh, sort of Pi disables. Pi like, yeah. ravages left and right with his Earth Spike alone. So. He does. Uh, I'm not really sure. Team Secret, they they know this. Oh, Eternal Epi's on the ramp here. Pounce up in three more seconds. He's going to pop his ult, but they actually hit the Chronosphere, but so here's Dark Pops they have all this extra damage over the top. The Sunshine gets laid down, but Misery hits the counter initiation with the pipe over the top. We have blowing up heroes. It's going to be able to take out two. And again, Liquid time after time. The initiation comes from Secret. Heroes are immediately lost, and they just have to retreat. That's the second time Eternal Envy's been able to get his Shadow Dance off. Liquid are just going to farm as much as they can in between this and the next fight. It's not going to be a lot of time for them as Mind Control should start backing up already. In. He's going to be able to control Derek to make sure there's going to be no Supernova. The Tornado is just a bit too late to intercept. And now Team Secret. They know this is their opportunity to end this game. Five more seconds until the Necrophos is back up. Clearly he's not going to buy back, so they should have a free lane of Rax. The question is, is Team Secret actually going to stick around? They don't have their Ravage, but they have a huge net worth lead that may be enough confidence for them to be able to take this fight. Mind Control, Time Walks to the side. He's going to be able to get the Chronosphere this time around on Eternal Heavy. The Death War gets laid out, but they definitely need the Reaper Sight. But Eternal Heavy still has that Aegis, so it doesn't even matter. Eternal Heavy now pops the open, turns on a Kuro, starts kneeling all those num num stats. He's going to be able to just go through support after support. He's beyond godlike, and they can't even kill him once. But Tumba Man, he comes back in. But the imprisonment is going to stall things up. The Tornado controlling some of the heroes in the background. Puppy, with that long-range artillery, is actually keeping Liquid from being able to be aggressive. They're going to start jumping forward, but Misery. Misery with jumps right back in with counter-initiation of the Anchor Smash. He's going to be able to stop all this damage. The Reaper Sight goes out. They will be able to kill Weeha, but still they have to worry about the Slark. His life number two is back up, and Eternal Levy still feeling pretty healthy. He's finding this oh, one out. To the he wants to be able to get out here. The pounce was blocked up, but Tumba Man comes forward. Looks like the Sunray's going to be able to take out Pylai Dai. They Eternal really Levy, need to kill get into the trees. Hides himself for a second, but Fada, he's a Bloodhound locking down Eternal Levy. They will be able to find him. Team Liquid, they win a fight, but is it too late? They lost so much out of that double set of racks, but bottom lane, they could even enter inside the base with this one. They might even get the high ground advantage. Vada, uh-oh, he spots this one out. He's going to immediately pop a DKB. Now the Chrono Sheer turn around, but they need to follow up. They have the main ball. That's a spicy one. They've got the Sun Strike on Misery. They're trying to pop him. The Reaper Sight. No, it's not going to finish him off. Oh, this egg explodes. The Team Seeker, they're still looking healthy. And now the turn around comes in. Grab his blade down. They're able to take out already two. And Liquid, they just fall apart after that. They have no buybacks. That was the best possible Chronosphere they could have had. But it just goes to show the Team Secret are just too big to fight up against. They're going to be able to get Fada here after the imprisonment. There's still a way the Sunray can save them. And Team Secret will beat down the buildings in preparation of taking game number one. Yeah, Liquid are going to pop everything that they possibly can, but... From the leading phase on, this game has been all Team Secret, especially with that Roche fight. Perfect play by Secret. Such a superior game by them. They have played Liquid every step of the way. Vada starts dropping meatballs, but he's got nothing. He turns around, goes on to Misery, but he's already dying to Puppy alone. The four position is destroying Vada's Invoker, who's had the highest net worth of Team Liquid for so long. Misery finally goes down, but the throne explodes, and Team Secret take game one in this grand finals. What a dominant showing for them, too. We said that Liquid and Secret both got the type of lineups that they wanted. Secret end up on top. Psychologically alone, that's going to afford them so many advantages.